investigate and see what the experts are saying. The 18th, and, and 18th Aviation and Allied Business Leadership Conference with the theme Air Transport Development Rethinking Africa's Strategy is currently underway in Namibia. The development of Africa's air transport system has continued to gain momentum. However, enormous work is still required to raise air transport development and bring Africa in line with key emerging markets. Now joining us in our Windhoek studio is Bethuel Mujutenga. He's the director of civil aviation at the Namibia Ministry of Works and uh, Transport. A very good, often, a good afternoon uh, to you, sir. Could you run us through some of the issues uh, that are being discussed right now at the conference? Yes, uh, the issues that are being discussed at the conference is, as you said, uh, the development of air transport in Africa. Uh, the development of air transport in Africa is not just limited to Africa, but it's an issue that is being discussed even at the level of the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO. It's one of the objectives of the organization. Now, uh, when discussing this issue, this particular issue that I'm talking about, there are a number of issues or challenges that we are faced with as African states. Well, among them is uh, the restrictions on our operations uh, into European skies, um, the United States skies, and so on. Um, the other is the imposition of the unilateral emission tra trading scheme of the European Commission. When you look at uh, bilateral uh, air service agreements uh, within the African continent, you're talking about uh, Europe, uh, but when you look at uh, this regard, how far are we as Africa opening up African skies to each other at this stage? Yes, uh, that's a very important question. Um, Africa has, uh, as part of the rethinking strategy, uh, came came up with a common uh, policy which, they, which is referred to as the Yamasukuro decision of 1999. Now the Yamasukuro decision advocates open skies between African states or intra-Africa operations. Uh, so far a number of African states have ended into uh, uh, YD based agreements which uh, eliminates the issue of frequencies, capacity and uh, the type of aircraft or equipment to be used. And uh, what in your view needs to be done in order for African airliners to take advantage of the growing outlook, economic outlook here on the African continent as well as the rising consumer spend that we are seeing coming through right now? Well, the first thing that um, airlines will have to do is to replace they are aging fleet, and to do that, we have adopted what we call the Cape Town Convention, which is a mechanism that would allow African states, in particular, to acquire uh, new fleets from the manufacturers. Another thing that African states would have to, uh, airlines would have to do, is to enter into franchises or partnerships with one another, uh, just like in the Star Alliance concept. Another issue that's been on the radar over the past a couple of months has, that, has been that around uh, safety. We saw that a fatal crash over there in Nigeria earlier this year. What is being said about uh, safety on the continent when it comes to air traffic? Yes, uh, safety is uh, an issue in Africa. Statistically, uh, Africa accounts for about 9% of, um, of the uh, accidents globally. This is something that we have discussed at uh, the level of African states under our umbrella organizations such as the African Civil Aviation Commission. We have even extended it to um, the International Civil Aviation Organization. We have taken a, a, a closer look at what are the causes of uh, these fatal crashes. Uh, the analysis uh, indicates that a lot of these accidents that took place in, on African soil were some of these aircraft that were built, built in uh, uh, the former Soviet uh, Union, um, which for some times have not even seen a hangar for, let's say, for 20 years. 
but uh, we have come up with initiatives mm -hmm. like the um, the improvement of safety. Um, we, uh, as African states, were also being assisted by um, the International Civil Organization uh, to come up with programs that will enhance aviation safety in Africa. So where to from here uh, for African airliners when you're looking at the medium as well as the short-term prospects within the aviation industry? Well, you have to understand that Africa, as we said, is a, is a very big continent, uh, which uh, in some cases are landlocked, some cases are between major deserts of the world, and uh, the only way that we can get the one billion passengers uh, to move uh, in Africa is to create what we call the connectivity. We do not have to fly to Europe to come back to an African state. And like you say, they and have... As I said mm -hmm. earlier on, mm -hmm. uh, what we need to do is to replace, is to replace our aging aircraft and take advantage of modern technology.